What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. My name is Zach and in today's video we're answering the question of can you use numbers in variable names in Python? And the answer is yes, but there is a caveat. So let's talk about that. So I have a variable. I'm just going to do it. The values are just going to be integer values. So if I have a variable and I say a var1, probably if you've been following this, I do a lot of like this as well. Var1 is equal to 1. I can just print out var one and there's no issue, right? So if I run this, boom, you just see the value of one. You can see that a number is there. Now, what happens if we did put it in a different spot? So what happens if I say var one is equal to right here? If I just put v one, right? If I do this, um, oops, var one is not, var one is not there, so we're getting an error. But if I do this, you see, I still get a value there. But what happens if I do one or one v? So right here, if you're using an IDE, like I am with VS Code, if I come over and highlight over this, it is gonna say that this is invalid syntax. Um, and if I try and run this, we're gonna see that it is also stating that it's an invalid syntax. The reason being is you cannot have integers or numbers, um, excuse me, as the very first position of the variable name, right? So if I have v, if I have one v, that is invalid. But if I have v one, now that is a valid statement. So to answer this simple question, yes, you can. However, the position of the of the number in your variable name matters, and basically it just comes down to it cannot be at the very start. And the reason is is because probably under the hood in Python, um, if it sees a one at the very beginning beginning, it's thinking that it's an integer or a number that's going to be used as part of, say, some sort of operation and something like that. And so then when you put a V at the end, it's like, what is this one V? I don't know what one V is. Like it's not, a, that doesn't represent any sort of number um, or something like that. So under the hood, that's probably, that's basically what's happening. And so that's why you can have a number in any position of a variable name, except the very first or at the very start of the variable name. So I hope this is, you found this helpful. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on programming.